I started to think about the idea of will and to go deeper into the idea. And so it was the beginning of the year and in one sense, buy nothing is a resolution. I thought about the word resolution. I thought about the word resolve. And I thought that really resolve and the willpower, because I've been researching symbolic thought for the last 18 months quite intensively, resides in the solar plexus and the chakra that is here. And it's like a fiery energy. And it's the energy that says, I will do that. But that energy needs to be accompanied by all of the other energies in the body. And if you're put off by the word energy, simply think about the different human requirements. So we have a need to be rooted. We need to have a sense of place and a sense of belonging. We need a foundation because once the foundation is sure and we've got our four corners square, then we can start building tall towers and uh, bring our fantasies into creation. Then we've got our creativity and that is not just that we are processing what other people say, but that we are actually introducing something into the world. So we there's this constant polarity we need to both receive and transmit. And most of us, we've been really formatted by an education system that has us all sitting in rows, looking at a teacher who is an authority is gonna to speak to us. Um, and, and so we're, we've been very much conditioned about receiving and doing our little piece of an allotted task, but not being asked to create or not being shown how to harness our creative capacities. So that creativity needs to be on board as well. So I spoke about the, the solar plexus and the will, the resolve. Um, and that resolve is built on the strength of the creativity and the, the, the depth and the sureness of the roots. And next comes the, the heart because we can go a long way building other people's dreams or doing things because intellectually it makes a whole lot of sense. But when the heart's not in it, at some point there will be a crisis that will that if we if we don't listen to it and correct course <laughs> things will probably go badly wrong but that that destruction will realign you with your the compass that is your heart so when you feel that this is right that you know what to do the next thing is you need to express it and you need to be able to speak it into life. And then of course you've got the, the mind, you've got the intellect. It's, there's also that refining and that use of intellectual resources that allows you to, to choose precise words that allows you to add richness and depth and layers of meaning to what you're doing. And then finally, you've got the, the connection with the divine. So when all of these things are in alignment, that's when it's easy to carry out a resolution. So the ability to change, which is what is contained in the notion of a resolution because you resolve to do something which is different from how you normally do something and requires the deep work of going into the self and seeking alignment and that might actually be a far longer process than we are aware or it might be, and, and it's actually something that I think a little bit like carrying a stack of glasses. Once you've got it stacked 
in a way where it's relatively stable. That doesn't mean to say that you can take your eye off them or that you don't need to be vigilant. I think that our inner alignment is something that we need to be constantly um, maintaining a sense of inner balance um, in order that we don't get complacent and uh, knocked off course by um, an unfortunate event or a disappointment or a health issue or whatever. So those are my thoughts about making resolutions. And this is going to lead into my ideas about how, when we're in this process of alignment, we seek um, advice and help from others that can help us on our spiritual path. And I'm going to make another video speaking on the subject of spiritual entertainment. So I hope that this makes sense to anybody listening. I decided to do something that I felt was authentic and personal and that was based on my real thoughts rather than, oh, what do people want to hear? Um, because that's part of my, my resolve and my resolution is to be more authentically myself and to speak honestly and with as much inner focus as possible in not only for myself but in the hope that that inspires other people to feel that that's something that they can do and that that's something that is now becoming acceptable because I do see other people doing this as well. Okay, so if you've made it this far, thank you so for much for watching. I really appreciate the, the little number of people that have subscribed so far, and I would love to hear your, your comments. Thank you.